I say, oh, it's another morning And even though I seen yesterday You forgiven my ways this morning So before I go in these streets I sit and I pray But please show me I'm gonna be just fine Give me peace and some open eyes Yo, welcome back to another segment of Diosa's Therapy and Sessions. And I'm your host, Diosa. And today, of course, as usual, I have some guests. So, I'm not going to delay the process this time. I'm going to just get to it. The guest that we have today is my wonderful, marvelous sister that you guys should already know by now, China. And... Her husband, my brother Lewis. Please come on in, guys. <laughs> 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 to it today's segment is the title of this is called when your therapist is a fraud okay oh my and we have a really really funny somewhat funny story to tell you guys about this and for us it's funny because we make we make the fun out of the worst thing sometimes because that's that's we try to that's what we have to do sometimes because if we overstress on certain things then they start draining us and god knows where we end up you know a lot of us know um but anyhow so um okay so today we're th we're talking about therapists okay okay and um i <laughs> so let's tell everyone first off like i take therapy myself. I have a therapist right now and I've been taking therapy for, um, I'm going to say like, it's been like three years now, give or take around there. And due to that is that one of, well, it's one of the main reasons why my life has changed so much and why I've been able to grow and understand certain things that happen to us in life. You know, there's obstacles that we run into that sometimes we really don't understand why. And what we have to come to the realization is that, um, we can't always understand everything or why certain things happen. But what we can do is accept and move on. Yes. So, um, you guys decided that you guys, I've, I've been telling them, you know, influencing them with, you guys should get therapy. If you guys get therapy, either if it's couples therapy or whatever it is, you get to talk to someone and you guys would, you know, you guys are going to connect more. So, um, what happened was, I'm going to start with, <laughs> with the story, okay? So... The way, the way that it happened, that they started taking therapy because they said, yes, I agree, we need it, let's do it. <clears throat> um, before I get to the story, actually, I'm going to ask you because they both need therapy. We all, I think it's not, it's, I think the word need actually sounds a little weird. I don't think it's something that we really need. I just think it's something that we can benefit from. It's okay. Okay, so... Um, why, why is it that, that you feel like therapy would be good for you or, or why is it that you wanted to speak to someone and, and let some things out? Um, for the simple fact of, uh, to speak to somebody and have no, like, uh, like a sense of judgment back, like, uh, to hear a certain response, a different perspective of a person that doesn't love you, doesn't give three craps about you, really, because they don't, because they really don't. So you you hear something else in a different perspective. So you put it towards your life because you think things are a certain way, and then you know you give your trust in or or actually speak about something that maybe you don't speak to everybody about right and right and yeah. what about you right. what is basically <clears throat> um that was an awesome answer because that's really what i was thinking as well i was like okay i actually already started therapy you know thanks to you so definitely <clears throat> is to hear is psychology right so what does uh psychology just do they make you understand 
like different ways right so maybe the way i think it's not wrong for me and maybe it's not even wrong but that doesn't mean that somebody else cannot think a different way and also be you know somewhat correct right you know what i mean and us it's a lot we do not get to understand it so you know things happen and they're supposed to be there right to help you and be able to like you know like see something else another picture another way be helping to understand so yeah that's the reason why we started seeking um therapy not because just couples no yeah couples if anything we we did say we would do as the end we really wanted to each of us do individual sessions you know what i mean because i do feel like everyone does benefit a lot like everyone needs she said yeah needs sounds weird but it's actually in reality something yeah that that you need in order to like you know stay like with the way the world is like right right somewhat you know Whatever. And, yeah. and we definitely benefit from it so <clears throat> then you're we're, we're talking mm -hmm. about therapy and it's kind of like you're probably asking yourself so why when a therapist is a fraud like like <laughs> why right <clears throat> okay so I have to start the the we turned it into a story of course because it's 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 magnificent you're gonna love this <laughs> um so this is true story guys true story my little... my other sister Eileen okay and I we um we go out to eat we went out to eat to oh, a diner that it's called a diner or something like that I don't know Latin house in Latin, Latin house country. Latin house in country, <laughs> not no. a Tonka no. country but yeah <laughs> it's close to Tonka it's in Kendall Village <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Back about that. Yes. That's, that's okay, so we, Florida, guys. Sorry. we go eat in this diner in Miami, Florida. Yes. And then um, we meet a lovely young lady that she just, you know, um, I actually looked at her and then she was standing in a way having a drink, but she was standing so still that I did like a double take. I look and I'm like, oh, she looked like a mannequin. You know, because she was standing so perfect that I was like, oh my God, I thought you were actually like a doll, whatever. You look amazing. She's like, thank you. So that opened up a conversation where she was like, oh, where are you guys from? And we're eating. And she's like, and, I, and she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm an entrepreneur. You know, I'm a life coach. I'm a comedian, an actress, <laughs> model, etc." She's like, oh, really? Well, I'm a therapist. And then she's like, and I'm like, really? And then she's like, yeah, I'm a therapist. I've been doing this for so, so many years. I think she said like about over three years, something like that. And then she starts talking to us a lot about how she works, the way she works. And then I'm like, and how much, how much is it that you charge? Whatever. He was like, well, for people that don't have insurance, because I know the struggle, I, you know, and the prices were good. Everything was so convenient. And I was like, oh my gosh. Well, guess what? I have a sister. My sister and her husband, they, they're looking for a therapist. But, you know, the insurance sometimes covers some things, some things it doesn't. It's very pricey, so how can we go about it? She was like, no, you're great, don't worry. Give me my number. She gives me a business card. Very professional, super lovely. I was like, yes, we found someone. So immediately, I call her, and I'm like, I you guess what? I found this, whatever, do you guys want to? She's like, yeah, and I'm like, Louis, do you want whatever? He's like, yes, Cunha, let's do it. And I'm like, all right. So then I give them the number. Right? And you you called who? I called. Okay. I called her. Um, she first, okay. First time I called, I, uh, like, uh, it was, uh, like, a little late, maybe, like, in the afternoon. She didn't get to me. I called her the next morning, around 9, and she goes, oh, I'm in a meeting right now. I'll call you right back. So I was like, okay. And then she didn't really call me. She called me, like, at 3 in the afternoon. And I remember my husband was like, so professional she has it you know because it had been like five hours but then she didn't call me so i was like and when she called me she was super you know what she's saying super nice um she spoke very well she was like okay so you know we can do it on the phone we can do it by zoom or we can meet somewhere or, you know and then she's like but what is it you guys want i was like well really i want individual ones you know like so she was like, oh, I'll, and I told her, I don't know if it's a good idea doing like individual with the same therapist. Um, but she was like, okay, um, we'll try, we'll see. She gave me kind of like, you know, we spoke for like 20 minutes. And then I was like, you know what? Who I really want you to speak to, like who I'm really looking for. You know, I wanted to, but I want my husband to, you know, to, to talk to somebody and you know, whatnot. So she's like, okay, give me his number. I'm gonna text him and we're gonna, you know? And I told him, hey, I told her, I gave her your number, this is gonna happen. Perfect. After that, 
Go ahead, babe. <laughs> what What happened after that? So, because I remember when she, we had the she, conversation. Uh-huh. It was uh-huh. very nice. It was she, very, okay, but when, when she first called you, when she first called you, um, I believe that you had told me something about like she started asking you, so where's your wife? Like, no, but that wasn't then. That wasn't the no, first time. No, whoa. No. What? Okay. Babe told me, my wife told me that um, the therapist was going to call. I was like, all right, cool. You know, everything, you know, it is what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm going to see what's up, you know, and, uh, and she called me. Hi, um, my name is such and such. Uh, and um, she sounded real nice, uh, whatever. And she started talking to me. And then she told me certain things that I know that she can know because she she spoke to to you prior, right? And uh, and and we started talking and said, oh, okay. Um, it was like fast though, like like a, a, um. The first call was like kind of like uh like getting to know each other, right? But um, there's signs like there's always signs like certain things that happen, right? And there was a call that you did tell her a few things, right? Like you, that, you told that me that in you, that first call you you spoke. And that first you call, guys... well, she cut me off, right? Because right. she starts telling me to tell her, to to talk to her about how I feel, right? And then all of a sudden I get cut off because um, her daughter came into town but was leaving. So they were going to a liquor store okay. to get something to, to I guess chill, hang out or whatnot and then- So she get, tells you this? Yes. Okay. This is what I get told. Okay. This is the first call. This is on the first call. On the first call. For this. Yes. Okay. I, or I hear this, right? Like, I get put on hold, okay. Boom, I was like, all right, whatever. That was the first call. Then, um, there was a second call, I believe. Right. <clears throat> right after. The second call was, um, you know, to get to, to know more about you, what not, what not. And then um, it's not like I said everything because I don't say everything, but I said certain things, right? And um, about what you want, what you're looking for as, you know, it's normal what I want. I want to be a better person. I want to be a better father. I want to be a better husband. I know um, everybody's messed up. You know, nobody's perfect here. You know, whoever thinks you're perfect, they're really, you're really fucked up (laughs) if if you think you're perfect. But I want to... and I start talking. And I remember um, I'm working outside and uh, I'm sorry, I get sad because I, I get emotional because, um, you know, the devil's alive. And it is, is because um, I feel like me seeking help or, or you know, you're looking out, you know, and, you know, sending help my way. Um, uh, how, how things try to, like, 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 life is a puzzle. And you go put, putting the puzzle together, right? But sometimes pieces in the puzzle, it's like, it's like, damn, dog, like, why, why did I get sent this, right? And then maybe when you had the opportunity to have something like that get sent to you, it never got sent to you, right? So then when, 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 when things are, you're supposed to do good and continue doing good through struggles, through everything and, and whatever life throws at you. If they throw you lemons, make a lemonade, if it's the, whatever, you know? And then, you know, to talk to somebody and put faith and then hear a phone call to your wife they, that I love Dearly and Poripaya and and to say, no, your husband's a good man. Okay. You know. Okay, let me add things a little like bit. that, right? And, but but then I, I I spoke to this lady about certain things, right? Let but then I heard that, so then that was that call. Let okay. me add a little right. bit, just to you're gonna continue, babe. I yeah. just want to explain a little Man, bit. Looks. No, it's awesome. This is awesome, yeah. babe. 
Listen, okay, so they had this first call. She cut him off really quick. Then she called back. He's working, but he takes time. And they're in the second call. And he pours basically his heart out. Not completely everything. Obviously, they're getting, you know, but the, the, the lady, because she's not a young girl. She's like, you know, I mean, we're, we're all young. But I'm saying, like, she's, you know, she's older. Yeah, no, she was mid-40s. Yes, for <laughs> sure, for sure. So, um... Yeah. We're like, oh my God, she has experience. I thought so too. So she, they have this conversation, but then um, he, they spoke, let's say 45 minutes, right? They were gonna do like maybe an hour, hour and a half session. They got to speak like 45 minutes. He, she tells him, okay, look, I'm gonna charge you this much. You can just cash at me. He cash up the whole session, twice. hour and a half or whatnot. Twice, and then she didn't speak to me until I ca- she saw the cash app. <laughs> okay. That's another thing, and I have... Okay, hey, okay, but then listen. <laughs> yeah. So, but what happens is he got interrupted because he had to do something with his work, mm-hmm. right? Like, he had to, like, give in a car or something he was doing. Okay, so he had to interrupt. Then comes, you know like a a couple hours an hour and something and she calls me after she received the cash app and whatnot and she tells me hey i was able to speak to your husband um it was amazing like uh he you know actually spoke it was incredible because men usually you have to like dig into them you know he actually spoke and he loves you so much and he spoke about this and this and I was like, wow, this is so amazing, you know? And I was about to get in the shower. So I'm like, he had just gotten out of the shower. I'm getting in the shower. She's like, okay, is he ready? Because I know so that we can finish our, you know, continue with our session. I'm like, sure, he's ready. He's going to give you a call. Now, you know, I'll continue. Love. Okay. So then now going back to you. <clears throat> and, of course, the reason why she has to stop and explain this is, again, for those of you that don't know, Right now, this gives him so much emotion and so much feeling and so much everything because there is a lot of people out there in need of that person outside of their circle right. or outside of their family or even right. husband or wife. Some people can't do it. Some people can talk and be with their husband and wife, but some people yeah. can't, and that's okay. That's normal. And then when he finally finds this one person that it's, it's under the budget that they can afford, that she seems so good, so professional, so everything, he he has this all the all of this is emotion built up because this happens to majority of the people in the world majority right, of the people anything. in the world they lose faith, faith or they lose belief or they lose whatever but it's because someone or something the, the, something has happened to them or someone has caused it there's always or a root for a reason them over or right you know? so then getting back to the story what happened then after that, she's going to continue the call. When she's going to continue the call, then that's when I believe she asks you if your wife is around. Yeah. Okay. I'm continue showering from there. at this point. Yeah. She is. Okay. So um, then the my, my second call, I guess, right, comes around. After the second call. This was the one after, at night. Yeah. I mean, the, the, at night. After I showered, uh, I'm already mm-hmm. whatever done. And... And the weirdest thing is like um, where I'm talking and, oh, all right, so tell me, okay, what we were talking about. And I said, no, listen, um, you know, <laughs> what are you looking for, Lewis? And I said, um, I'm looking for happiness. I'm looking for peace. I'm looking for, I'm looking for honesty. I'm looking for family. I'm looking for for, for what I never had. and. Cause my uh, my grandparents are is all I had, but but what what I've really wanted to have is is to see a full family, and maybe I can make that family. And um, we, she was talking to me and telling me express yourself, express yourself, and then all of a sudden a uh, question came out. She's like, uh, "Where's but where's Angie? Who's no?" She says, "Who's Angie?" I said. That's where I was like, uh, uh, me thinking, I was like, what the f, <laughs> f whatever. I said, well, Angie's my wife. And she's like, okay, but where's Angie? And I was like, whoa. Um, I guess in the room. And so, so, but what she's doing? I said, man, well, I guess she's showering. I came outside to talk to you about 
And what really got to me is like, like, um, like I, it felt super weird to me, super weird in the sense that I thought I was getting set up. I thought I was, um, a whole bunch of things went through my mind. I was like, damn dog, like, why is this happening? Like, you know, I can't trust my, my mother. I can't trust no, no, you know, nobody. Me personally, me personally, my brother, nobody. It is what it is. It, hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It is what it is. And that's normal because it happens. I can't it, trust it nobody. Really, that doesn't really mean I see that. my own shadow <laughs> and, I, and, and I'm like, you talking? No. There's people well, with trust issues. It. And it happens. And that's why sometimes we seek therapy. Yeah. Because we want to get to that better place and we want to whatever. So then for him going through this and then talking to someone and now he says, I felt like I was getting set up. But yeah. that setup could have been in many ways. He could have even thought that, oh, you think my wife might be um, right. putting yes. something, you know, right. like well, maybe my wife is doing this and whatever. Because the reference did come from me, which I'm her sister, which that's, oh, yeah. and, and she knows all about it. And all of this, she's like, wait, everything was fine. And all of a sudden this is happening so what's going on so i remember that you told me that yes. she did tell you um you know you have to open up to me yes so she did mention that and um my my where i felt so bad is because i'm the person that recommended this therapist that i was like no we spoke to her we stayed extra in the restaurant like an extra 30 minutes past the time we had finished eating because she was amazing to us and i was like oh my god so imagine how I feel now listening to this story. No, but it gets better. So then um, she asked you, at what time you're gonna do? Uh, at what time are you gonna do this tomorrow? Right? So what are you gonna do tomorrow? Because that was a Thursday night. Uh huh. Okay. I'm not sure exactly what date it was, but it, it was, was a Thursday night. night. For sure. And then um, she asked me, "What are you gonna do tomorrow?" So since I, what 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 I what ran through my head was like, "Damn, she talked to my wife, so maybe, cause your your wife, you know, she told me she likes to dance, you know, check this out." Mm -hmm. So I'm like, "Damn, damn, maybe I, you know, I I with the work and this and that and life and the kids, ah." I haven't taken on my wife to dance, so maybe that's what I gotta do, <laughs> right? Or maybe that's what they talked about, normal. <laughs> Me trying to overthink, because I'm overthinker, so. So I say that, and all of a sudden, Louis, that's not what I wanted to hear. And I'm like, what the f F, bro, this is weird, dog. <laughs> like, that's not what you wanted to hear. So I'm like, okay, and I, me, myself, I think, damn, okay, maybe I'll, like, hang out with my wife, I'm like, no, you and know. And then she told you that she was, like, and she like had. Like, sucking a lollipop, <laughs> right? So then, that's <laughs> what. <laughs> Guys, don't get lost on me, okay? Yeah, Listen, no. Wow, I started wow, looking everywhere. <laughs> as soon as I heard that, I was like this, look, like a helicopter. <laughs> she first yeah. said, where's your wife? But where is she where is she at now? She asked him. And then she's like, so what do you want what are you gonna do tomorrow? <laughs> then when he responds, she's like, that's not what I wanted to hear. <laughs> and then she randomly randomly tells him that she's sucking on a lollipop. Like, I'm just here sucking on a lollipop. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's like, I feel like taking off what? All my clothes. No, that's not what you said. The what? That's not what you told us. What? The panties. Oh, the panties. Yeah. I feel like I feel like taking off my panties and going yeah, to bed, going but, to sleep. But, yeah. Okay, yeah, but before the panties thing, look with the lollipop thing. She there was something with a cat. <laughs> yes. Then she then she started fighting with her cat. Yes. Look, I have okay. a nice. You told me. Okay. <laughs> then she started fighting with her cat. It was just weird, super weird. I thought I was being set up. I thought everything. I thought, because it, it's such a, it's like, how can somebody hear your problems, dog, and like try you like that, bro? Like, I, like you know, like, come on, man. Like, look, look, I'm not a therapist. I'm not a doctor. I'm nowhere near. I'm a, I, I'm not even a mechanic. I, I'm not even a body man. I, I love cars. 
but I have a heart, you know, and I hear somebody's story and and I hear a hardship or some something hard that somebody goes through and I sympathize with them, bro, but uh, you know, to hear somebody's, you know, and then, you know, I felt tried. Right. And then yeah. this happened. We, we, in a way, we laughed. We laughed. I mean. I actually laughed a lot. We, we laughed, laughed a lot. Yeah, when well, it happened, I had to tell um, me. Well, he was actually. Okay, this oh, day that this see. happened, he, he had a problem. Yeah, so, a health <laughs> problem. My appendix. It was. It wasn't the appendix. It was, the it was, it was my the hemorrhoids, dog. It was the butt. It was the butt. Yeah, that is what it is. It is what it is. It's hemorrhoid yeah, problems. Whoever has hemorrhoid problems, you yeah. know. Normal. It's normal. normal. So he, he couldn't move and he's in the couch and then I was making, I don't know, something and then we were going to watch like a series, like something. And he's waiting on me. He's like, babe, I have to talk to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I, I'm like, okay, I'm going. And then when I sat next to him, he starts telling me the story, and I start laughing. I'm like, you're laughing. <laughs> you're making this up because you don't want to do therapy. <laughs> so now at this point, she thinks that he's making it up because he don't want to do therapy. And he's like, I swear. And then he started laughing. He would laugh. And he told me, don't make me laugh because you know when you laugh, you contract your butt muscle. <laughs> Then we called, you know, um, Diosa, my sister, and we had it on speaker, and we started telling her and laughing, and she couldn't believe it. No, like, so immediately. So that's why she took down, you know, because that's been a couple of, like, weeks ago. Or right, so immediately, they're telling me this, and it took me a while to laugh, first off, because I couldn't believe it. You get it? Because I was like, oh, my God. On top of that, I was the reference. I was the one that was like, here, look, like, uh, like, Talk about, I love the episode Criminal Minds. I will never be able to be an analyst because I totally failed. Like, I was like, oh, no, she's the shit. She's really good. No, she was, no, she's very good. Hey, she is. She I'm so she knows her stuff. She's good. Hey, Listen. but I missed the point. No, but she's really good because she had me fooled, too. Because I was, but there's I was certain, like, there's certain call my husband. You get what I mean? Like, she had me completely fooled. Sometimes we overlook the Look, seeking help. Okay, like like we're seeking help, right? I'm seeking help, and I'm okay with that. Right. So you overlook certain things. When someone tells you, or a therapist, or somebody, what well, it doesn't matter. Forget a therapist, whatever. Somebody, I got a drinking problem, right? Let's say that, or whatever, a drug problem, whatever, right? And that person tells you, it's okay, but if you do it with moderation, <laughs> shouldn't that be a sign? That like, was a red flag. That was a definitely That a was definitely flag. a red flag. That but was sometimes flag. seeking help, you overlook certain things. But, like, well, I'm, you, I'm gonna tell you something. It, it's a red flag, but it's not, because I just remembered that I kind of explained to her a little bit. And I did tell her, and I was like, man, my brother, he would like to, you know, he, yeah. he used to drink heavily. And then I was like, and he's gotten a lot better. And ever since he got with my sister, but, you know, he wants to do more and he wants to whatever. And then she did explain to me. She sat there and explained to me. It's like um, people that smoke cigarettes. They tell them a lot of people can't cut the cold, is turkey. It cold turkey. Cold no, turkey. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was about to say cut the turkey. No, no, no. Cold <laughs> okay. turkey. Yeah. That would be that, in yeah. a few weeks in Thanksgiving. Yeah. Right, but there's a lot, a few people. So she she gave me this whole explanation <laughs> about when you're an alcoholic, if you're yeah. able, because I was like, no, but he's able to leave it. Like he'll be two and three weeks without drinking, and then she was like, if he's able to do that, his problem is not as strong as others, That's which correct. is true. That which is true. It, it makes sense. Okay. So then, so then she's like, so what you do in this case, you she explained something similar. As to like, okay, if he's cutting, don't just make him like, oh, that's it and whatever. Because then when they have a problem, they're going to go run to that. Right. You, so it was the way that she explained it when she put this whole psychology in it. That yeah, because she, she definitely has really. Right, right. She, she definitely knows what she's doing, but obviously she's going through her own shit too. Yeah. And now she's mixing like her personal life 
with her business. Right. Yeah. That's what that's really what's going on. Right. She also now needs a therapist herself. She and does. She actually she, has, she, she said, told us that. She says she does therapy herself. Like she she also does You things. know, but she needs more of it before she tries helping someone else. Yeah, yeah. So, it's, that's, it's, crazy that's how what you, I how do you come on to like <laughs> how do you come on to your, your client? Your client. Just but then like again, that. this happens a lot though. It's not like you know, I was like, oh, and I'm kind of surprised because it happened with like to us. You get it? It's something, but I see this in the news all the time. People yeah. getting scammed all the time. Doctors okay. that are not doctors. People that are selling um, whatever. People even in a, in a practice that they're whatever. And the reason why I wanted to put this out there, and immediately when they're telling me, I got super offended. It took me a little bit to laugh. Then I when did. I reheard the story I, again, I was saying the story laughing, but she it did. Too. Yeah, it yeah. took me a little a little bit to laugh. Like now I'm kind of like <laughs> you know, because I hear it and I'm like, okay, it is kind of crazy. Yeah. And the way the lady started, like, oh, I'm licking a lollipop, right. and she fought with the cat, yeah. and then she obviously has a drinking problem. A drinking she problem drinking. herself. She was, she, was she was definitely drinking. Right. You know, especially when you're going good in the conversation. Oh, wait, I gotta go to the liquor store because I yeah. mean, TMI. Exactly. Like, like you get it? Like, and where, so where's your professionalism? So much. But due to cases like this, then people like us that would seek this type of help. Then we got scared. We now, get now we're scared and we get discouraged because now uh, he are like like he said earlier. He already is a person with a trust issue. Now we recommended. I I gave, I gave him a reference. We called and this happens to the first therapist that he calls. Yep. This was his luck. <laughs> the person that already has trust issues now trusted someone that okay I don't know you but you whatever and then you come along with this. Yeah. To the point that he thought a thousand things, at like a thousand, he was like, is this a setup, is this a whatever, what's going on? And then now at this point, I'm like, okay, should we look for another one? And he's kind of like, oh, I don't know. Uh, um, um, <laughs> yeah. I don't blame him. Yeah. How many people doesn't this happen to? Oh, this is the everything. reason why I was like, hey, that's something that we have to put out there. And it's not about bashing people or, or throwing anyone under no. the bus. No, it's about reality. This is what it is about. This is a reality, and this is something that happens to everyone. But then we're here sharing the story, paying, paying it forward. Why? Because now you hear it, but this is something that what I can tell you is don't give up. Are you going to give up no, because that no. happened to you? No, no. No. <laughs> you know? No, no. At all. No. Uh, no, for no, real, we are, at all. We, you know, we at are, all, at we're all. Still... You get it? I mean, no. Luckily, she already found herself someone. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're yeah, still yeah. looking yeah. to get him into it, but... It was a discouragement for Absolutely. him. It was something that we're here like, oh my gosh, again. like please, yeah. again. And then he's like, oh. And then it made him feel a little worse because he's an emotional person. He's a person yeah. that, and especially when you have so much, like, you know, <laughs> built inside, you have so much inside that you haven't been able to let out because you. there's sometimes it's really impossible to talk to your family members. It, it really is. Like, this is not about sugarcoating nothing or, or, you know, we're not saying that they're bad people. We're not saying that we don't love them. Love ain't got nothing to do with that. I might love everybody, but I might not trust you. Absolutely. Because it is what it is. Exactly. You are a person that I really don't understand because I'm not that way. Now, do I have to understand you? No, I have to accept you the way it is. But in the meanwhile, we go through so much in life that then who do I really vent to? Mm. Who do I, you know? So they are, he, for example, he has his wife. Yeah, but there's certain things that even still in between matrimonies that sometimes it's difficult. It's difficult. It's difficult. Kind of, it, or, it's you know, it's, it's difficult to kind of understand, like, you know, the yeah. point of view of. Right. And, you know, that's, it doesn't mean we're and wrong. It's understandable. doesn't mean he's no, wrong. doesn't fine. mean I am. Right. It's just different point of views. And right. that's why having somebody that can actually be like, okay, but look at it this way. Then right. you know you're like yo you know I, and 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 it, you know you don't go through that much, argue dumb arguments and stuff that is easy to to you know for it to happen because you live with somebody yeah convivencia yeah. like it's yeah. hard to deal and live with someone else that has a different attitude that you know although you love them to that it happens with kids and with right? you know what I mean it happens right. yeah. With so, everything you, you I need therapy born, because of my kids. Right? We have five kids. <laughs> I, we have six. But yeah, five but live with for, us. Forget we about need therapy. That, right? and no, then, don't forget just, about that. Just, I need therapy because no, my no, kids. No, no, look. <laughs> this, is, this is one little scenario, a quick scenario, right? Think about this. Do we, have, we have five kids? No, we I'll do. But let's not even put that scenario out there. Because, Why? <laughs> because whatever. 
It's a, actually six. Pero uno. Yeah, it's that. It's, it's that. It's six. All right. You and your sisters, you guys grew up together, right? Yeah. Mom and dad. Yes. Badass dad, badass mother. Yes. Okay. Imagine living at this age still with them. <laughs> what? How would that house be? <laughs> would it be ruckus or no? Yes, I believe so. All right. It would be so, insane. That's what I'm saying. So, right. you know, you gotta, like, it, it's evolution, dog. Like, uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> For what? I For what? I get what you're saying. Go ahead, back them up. <laughs> no, I had a guy lost. No, no. <laughs> Except this is why it's a reality Bro, pero we were talking about something else. Get in the camera, get in the camera, get in the camera, get in the camera, get in the camera. It's all right. So what was it? I don't, I don't even, you don't know the point you were trying to give here. No, I forgot. Bro, I'm out. I, I was about to think. I said I need therapy for my kids. You're like, no, but we, look at this point of view. What is it? I don't need that. I told you I need therapy because my kids, because I am. I don't know why. Me. I thought it was everybody. My, I, I have no apologies. You see why she needs therapy? No, I need therapy too. Hey, bottom line is, I hope you guys had a laugh like we do. And I love, I love leaving this because this is what it's about. I mean, really, um, at the end of the day, bottom line mm -hmm. is that um, right now, I, I don't know. <laughs> right now. I'm oh my God. Bottom line is, okay, let me save it from 18 because <laughs> do not get discouraged, okay? Yes, therapy, it was a fraud the first time, but he's not, I'm not going to let that man get discouraged. No. Go out there, do your thing, seek the help. Not everyone is a fraud. Be careful, but, you know, don't get discouraged. Don't let things like these, like, you know, take you away from that belief. Yeah, man. You have to keep looking after yourself. I mean, yes. there's going to be, this was one fraud, but it's going to be many others. I yes. mean, you guys you guys will have no idea how many houses I rented. Oh, and Lord. afterwards, they were, um, what is yes. that? They uh, in foreclosure. In foreclosure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they still it happened happy. to me like three and times. Listen. And I was like, they're never going to get me again. <laughs> They got me again. <laughs> Everything is fine. Some and guy then. called me from Africa. Send me the money so I can send oh, you the money. Oh, yeah. Kid. That happened crying, to me too. Crying. And, and I sent them the box. money. And the, I'm going to send you the lockbox. I, I sent the whole $1,200. Oh, whatever. No Big fraud. I went to the place. They were like, no, ma'am. It happened to me about three times yeah. that I can remember. Three Things times, like that happened. and I still had to still keep going. I had to go look for another place, and I could have said, you know what, I don't trust anyone, and I'm not doing this anymore. But the key is never to give up. Right. Exactly. Never give up, right. and never lose sight of what you want for you. Right. The people out there could be frauds, but the world is too big. I mean, the world is too big, and not everybody in the world is is out to get you. Really, and when it's you not have like a genuine that. heart, you know, you 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 can have some some people that are try to do bad, but they ain't gonna get far. And and having a genuine heart and and good feelings and 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 helping and putting it forward, you get you get definitely. Good. And let's remember that everything in life is a lesson learned. Like mm -hmm. everything that happens is for a reason. So I got a reference. I gave it to him. He had this experience, and maybe it was for a reason. Maybe it's life, God itself telling you, okay, look, maybe the next time, now when you go to another therapist, analyze them first. You speak to them and study them a little bit and see before you actually pour your heart out like that because usually you 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 have an advantage. And the advantage that you have is that you have the willpower to be able to do that mm -hmm. because yeah. that's not only men, men or women. Men or women, get them in front of a therapist. It took me longer. If you if you opened up like that, I didn't open up till like about the third week that I was talking to my therapist. Oh, that I really started telling her my real deal. 
because mm-hmm. you still feel some type of way even though it's someone that doesn't know you it doesn't whatever you still don't want to be judged because you know when you fucked up but i know that you're the one that i can tell in order for me to feel better but i still don't want to be, want you to judge me because that's the right. that's the human body we, we live right. in acceptance we don't want you're no one to judge right. us that's why we go to a therapist because we don't want our families to judge us. That's but then, why I didn't care. right, right. Oh, that's why we don't care. But even still, everything. when you're there right off the bat, a lot, the majority of the humans, we're still kind of like, I you am. have to take it out of me. You have to start taking well, it out. You know it's, what happened to me? Like, I I went to three, with one at a practice. She was really cool. At the third one, when I'm already getting familiar, she's leaving the practice. Wow. Now they started yeah. me with someone else. I, I already did two visits. I like her, but am I already like that? I can be. I need to, you know, I need to see, you, you know, right. you, you got to feel, feel of it. it. You know right. what I mean? When I started already liking the other girl that I was already about to kind of really open up, you get it? I said, like, you know, oh, bye. She's leaving. I was like, oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> so the whole point happens. is. I want everyone to see that all the but stuff that happened to us, even if you get robbed, if if you've been victim of fraud, if any of those things happen to you, I need you to please look at the positive side of it because it does have a positive side. And the positive side is it's a lesson. Why did this happen to me? It happened for a reason. For a reason, that lady, you went through that and whatever it's, you know, but instead of looking at, oh, I'm not doing this anymore, I don't trust no one, try to open your mind a little more, be a little more open-minded to the possibility that, okay, you know, in life, there's, there's the universe listens to yeah. you, it responds, really it does. Right. But it puts you in the place with the right person and at the right time. So maybe you started opening up so quickly that there's something that does exist and they see what's going on and they see you're such a pure soul with someone that also needs the help that it's not going to be able to help you right. and then they're like you know what right off the bat boom because yes, they're like let, right let it happen now. right now because it would have been imagine how if this pissed you off and it happened right when you started imagine how you would have felt if that would have happened like i don't two, know three two three in. no months i was gonna say two or three months in that now you're feeling comfortable with your therapist and she and she makes that move on you it's kind of like what yeah, that's even worse. Yeah. That would have been worse, but it Weird. didn't happen that way because it didn't have to. Everything happens for a reason. And that's what I want you to yeah. look at. What I want you to look mm-hmm. at is the fact that if it happened, don't ask yourself really, why did it happen? Just say, you know what? I'm happy that it did happen because mm-hmm. now I learned from this. Now I'm going to open my eyes more. I'm going to be more on the lookout. But don't close yourself to any mm-hmm. possibilities. Don't do that. That's what you can't do. And we're going to close this up already. Okay, but before, um, did you guys notice that we're all wearing green? Oh. Oh, my oh gosh. gosh. Wow. How oh, crazy. crazy. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for playing along. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to tell you guys what happened. Along. I'm really going to tell you what happened. What happened? You're not, listen, I was going to say what happened is, is that I put on a green dress. No, you didn't. And I, that and then she decided, she, he's not going to lie, did, no. did I not put the green listen, dress on first? Listen, I'm going to kill him. With the white. We came as the Gus. Listen. <laughs> okay, and that's a wrap, everyone. So, we, um, yeah. <laughs> we wanted to match with the green. And she said, you guys are matching. And she changed the They're always doing this little couple shit oh. where they always got to match their clothes. How many couples out there are like that, huh? <laughs> How many couples are there? They always had a match. I was in a match. Like, do you guys wear the same school? So then I was like, oh, really? Now you guys are matching? I was wearing something completely different, and I came out with this. Okay? And look at us. Look at us. All green and happy. That you know, and you know, I love the green because love green. Love green. Why? Why do we love green? Money, my guy. Money. Oh, I was talking about pot. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, no, just we kidding, just kidding, just no, kidding. We're, We're talking about money. <laughs> Moolah. Green. That means green means go. Green means go. So go for it, guys. <laughs> Don't give up. Live your dreams. Follow your passion. Seek help because there is someone that is always going to give and you a hand. mental health is really, really important. Mike. It's a thing. Yes. It's a thing, it guys. Really really mental when health. life throws you lemons, make lemonade. Now we're gonna say I'm out giving them a hand, a hand like this. And on three, 
two, one. Oh, oh, So be